Hey everybody, welcome to Get Weld Soon. At some point, if you're a welder or gonna be a welder, uh, you're gonna run up on big gaps, holes that you gotta fill in, that kind of thing. So, uh, I drilled a half inch hole here in this pipe. Uh, if all you have is a stick machine and you need to fill in some big holes, it can be pretty challenging uh, while you're learning, for sure. We're gonna use a 332 7018 and 70S TIG wire to do this. Just in case somebody doesn't believe me, it's half inch. Now we'll see how thick it is. And you can see right there that it is eighth of an inch thick. But first, if you subscribe yet. Y'all better subscribe, both of you. What you're gonna wanna do is take your stick rod and you, when you fire up, uh, stay a little bit away from the edge, okay? You, you wanna get a bead around it to thicken it up a little bit so it'll handle a little bit more heat. Okay, so when you fire up, um, you're gonna start start feeding just a, a little bit of wire with this TIG wire, this is 70S TIG wire. And uh, <clears throat> you're feeding wire as you're going, trying to keep the puddle cool, and you're adding metal all at the same time, making it thicker. You wanna, you wanna get a bead all the way around it <clears throat> and stay away from the edge, remember? Because if you get real close to the edge, it's, gonna, it's just gonna drop off inside and you're gonna make a mess. Okay, so now I've got a bead all the way around it, thickened it up a little bit so it'll, so it'll withstand a little more heat uh, without just running and falling inside there. Now I just repeat the process just right on the inside of that bead that I just did. I just add a little to it. Uh, you wanna go kinda quickly, okay, because it's gonna be getting hot and it can definitely still just fall in and, and uh, then you'll have an even bigger hole and make a mess. All right, I got it filled up. Now it looks like I got a giant mess on there because, well, it kind of is. All right, we're gonna do some grinding. You might wanna put your Corona mask on for this. Okay, so I got it down close to where I want it. Now I'm gonna hit it with a tiger paw. If you don't know what a tiger paw is, this sanding disc, this is what we call tiger paws or I call them kitty feet. Well, there you have it. Got the hole filled up. It's gone. You look in the middle, inside, you can see where I welded it up. Doesn't look too bad. Not much hanging down. Not bad at all. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you did, I appreciate it if you subscribe and give me the old thumbs up. We'll see you next time.